there's no inscription in it. It's just a big red circle with small space, a rectangular space in between, painted white. No matter when you see the red, when you say something red, it means stop or danger. So the fact that this could be synonymous to what we are talking about is good. So this means no entry. So anytime you see something like that, even though the door is wide open or the road is wide open, you are not allowed entry into it. This next one is a red circle with an X in between with a blue background there. So whenever you see this, it means no stopping. So you just keep moving. You are not allowed to wait, you are not allowed to park, you are not allowed to stop for any reason. You have to keep moving. The next sign is this one it says no parking. It has a P in it and a red diagonal line that is striking it. So whenever you see something like this, you are not allowed to park your vehicle there. Rather, you look for a sign without the red diagonal strike to it before you park there. This next one is a little bit different because in it, there are two vehicles, one red, one black. The black one indicates what is right and as we have said earlier, red usually indicates danger or stopping. So whenever you see a symbol like this with two vehicles, one red, one black, it simply means no overtaking by small vehicles and so no matter how slow the vehicle in front of you is you just have to wait your turn until you pass that particular road before you can overtake failure to adhere to this could result in fines or more this next sign is a little bit similar to the previous one but instead of a small car it shows a truck or a big a bigger vehicle and so it means that trucks are not allowed to enter or you can call them trucks you can call them lorries or goods vehicles so these kind of vehicles are not allowed to overtake smaller cars so if you happen to be driving any of these vehicles and then you come across this sign you are not to overtake you are just to stay here on your lane and keep on moving. Next sign is a little bit different. There's a car, one black car in it, and then a diagonal line striking it. It means no entry for all vehicles, be it a bike, be it a car, be it an SUV, be it a truck or a trailer or anything, these kind of vehicles are not allowed there. This next one is a little different but a little similar to it shows a truck with no entry. This sign means that vehicles like this that this truck in it are not allowed entry. So whenever it is you are driving a bigger vehicle and then you see this sign, it means you are not allowed to enter. Whether it's a short truck or a longer truck or trailer, you are not allowed to bring them in. And then this next one is a little bit different because inside the truck or underneath the truck, there is a sign under which is, is there's an inscription there in meters so that means a vehicle longer than this that is 10 meters are not allowed entry so we have to that means truck drivers have to know the particular length of their vehicles before driving so whenever it is the city sign they are to stop themselves from entering wherever it is the sign may be. So the next one is similar, is no entry for trailers. So someone driving a truck might be allowed to enter, someone driving a 
a normal salon car might be allowed to enter but a trailer is not allowed entry the next one is a bus that means buses are not allowed be it small bus or long buses they are not allowed while the next one is a sign for motorcycles i think this one is very common and popular amongst many residential areas in Lagos here they don't allow bikes or as you call it Okada to enter for security purposes and whatever it is they want so this next one is a sign for no entry for agricultural vehicles like agricultural machineries the plow and all that this next one is a sign showing that cyclists are not allowed like if you are riding a bicycle you are not allowed entry in there this next one shows a human inside the red circle with a strike it means that there is no entry for pedestrians so if you are walking you are not allowed in you have to come in with the vehicle the next one shows no entry for 3.5 meters i said it earlier that you have to look at the numbers written inside so if your vehicle is higher than 3.5 meters then you would not be allowed entry the next other ones are also self-explanatory there are symbols in it so you just know when your vehicle is longer than this you are not allowed either two or five this one is similar to the previous one we've talked about instead of being in height the measurement is in width so any vehicle wider than two meters will not be allowed and then this other one is very different or a little bit different from it it shows a horn sign and then it's been struck out so that means vehicles are not allowed to hoot when they pass there so if you are the type of driver that likes using the horn to hoot a lot it would not be allowed and so you should desist from doing this while this other one talks about stop customs that's the sign that is written there so whenever it is you see something like this you know that you have to stop for customs to search your vehicles if they want to search and the other one is similar stop for police so police might be telling you to stop and you have no choice but to stop and then look at this last one the octagon the octagon shaped stop signs so whenever you see it, stop is pretty self-explanatory you are just to stop there so these are the basic regulatory signs that we have or that we are using in our country nigeria there are other ones there that you might be used to or that i did not mention but these are the most common ones that we'll see almost every time in most places so we we'll do well to please remember them and what they mean so that we would not be caught on the wrong side of law thank you for watching this video please subscribe if you haven't done so and then you like if you have something to say or you disagree with one of the signs and have something to tell me about it please put it in the comment section and make sure that you also try to share the videos with your friends your family and your colleagues and every other person so that they too would learn about this science and then they would also add here so that they would not also be caught on the wrong side of the law 
Thank you very much for watching. Till next time that we meet. Goodbye.